Hey guys, it's Kevin here. So in this video, I'm gonna go over identifying your brand voice slash identity for small and medium-sized business owners. Uh, so if you're a small and medium-sized business owner, you're trying to determine your brand voice slash identity. Uh, maybe you're doing it for the first time. Maybe you're looking for a rebrand. Uh, stay tuned and watch this video. Uh, so pretty much there's a marketing professor called uh, David Aker. Uh, he came out with this thing called Aker's Brand Personality Dimensions. Pretty much he says uh, every single brand, no matter what business, they generally consist of these five brand personality dimensions. Uh, these five personality dimensions include sincerity, brands that are seen as genuine, honest, wholesome, and cheerful. They often project a down-to-earth image. So for example, in this case, you have brands such as Dove or you have brands such as Hallmark. Uh, you have excitement brands, brands that are perceived as daring, spirited, imaginative, and up-to-date. They often appeal to a younger or more adventurous audience. So here you have brands, say for example, you have Red Bull, or you have brands such as Nike. Uh, then you have brands such as Competence, brands that communicate reliability, intelligence, and success. They often have an established reputation for quality. Uh, here you have brands such as Microsoft, you have brands such as Volvo. Then you have sophistication. These are brands that exclude an aura of glamour, charm, and smoothness. They often are associated with luxury or high-end offering. Here you have brands, say for example, you have Chanel, you have Rolex. Uh, then you have ruggedness, brands that are tough, strong, outdoorsy, and seen as built to last. Uh, say for example, you have Jeep, you have Timberlands. So pretty much all these brand dimensions, what you want to do, you know your brand better than anyone else. Uh, you want to determine what you want the marketplace to kind of see your brand as. So in this slide, here are some more words that determine each one of these brand personality dimensions, sincerity, excitement, competence, sophistication, and ruggedness. So look through these words, uh, determine which one of these uh, personality dimensions best represent your brand. You know what your business is good at. You know what the selling point of your uh, brand is. So you want to make sure your marketing message also align with what your strengths are in the marketplace, right? So at Acorn Marketing, we came up with a test to determine your Acorn's brand personality dimensions. So pretty much each one of these questions should be answered on a scale of one to five. One being you strongly disagree, five being you strongly agree. Higher score in a particular dimension will indicate a stronger inclination towards that personality dimensions. Uh, so these are the 25 questions. Sincerity, you have five questions. Excitement, you have five questions. Uh, competence, you have five questions. Sophistication, you have five questions. And ruggedness, you have five questions. So once you finish all 25 of these questions, you add up the score. Uh, whichever of these brand personality dimensions you score the highest on is more likely what your brand personality dimension is. So go ahead and pause this video, uh, do this quiz, and determine which one of these personality dimensions best associated with your business. So now you've determined which one of these acre brand personality that I mentioned best associated with your business. Next, you have to determine which color best associated with your brand. So the term of using color for your business, most business owners just uh, pick a color that they like personally. You could do that if you want to, but on this slide, I've laid out what color means to each one of your brand personality dimensions. So you could use a color that you like, or you could use the, these color that best uh, resonate with your brand personality that I mentioned, right? So say, for example, you rated really high on sincerity, you wanna use earth tone colors. Say, for example, light blues or soft greens. Uh, if you rate it higher on excitement, you wanna use red, orange, bright yellows. Uh, these colors evoke excitement, passion, and energy. If you rate higher on competence, you wanna use colors such as blue, greens, or grays. These co colors uh, signify stability, reliability, expertise. Uh, if you rate higher on sophistication, you want to use black, gold, silver, deep purples. These colors are usually associated with elegance, luxury, and sophistication. Uh, ruggedness, you want to use colors such as brown, dark greens, and other earthly tones. These colors communicate ruggedness, toughness, and an outdoorsy feel. So on this slide, we want to look at topography, or pretty much topography is fonts for your business. So in this slide, I've included uh, what the font looks like on a personal level. Uh, so you can see like these font, how they kind of uh, indicate what your brand personality dimensions is. Uh, say for example, you have sincerity. Um, you have you want to use font that invoke a sense of genuineness, warmness, and trustworthiness. Uh, you have comic sans, uh, often seen as friendly and informal. Quick sand, a modern sans serif typeface as clean and honest vibe. Uh, Patrick can a font that gives off a handwritten personal feel. Uh, then you have their excitement fonts. Uh, you have impact, a bold font that commands attention and create excitement. 
Uh, Joe's known for its geometric shape. It can evoke modern and dynamic feel. Avenir Next, this font has a futuristic and exciting edge to it. Uh, competence, a uh, font that reflects reliability, professionalism, and expertise. You have Arial, a straightforward, clean, dependable font. Arial is used a lot in, say, for example, when you're using Google Docs. Uh, Hevitika, uh, widely respected for its reliability and clean design. Times New Roman, a classic, reliable, formal font often associated with ac academic and professional documents. You probably used this font in the past. Uh, sophistication fonts, a uh, font that gives off a sense of elegance, prestige, and high quality. You have Baskerville, a uh, refined and elegant serif font. You have Didot, a typeface known for its sophistication and high-end feel. You have Badoni, this font has a stylish and luxurious vibe to it. Then you have your ruggedness fonts. Uh, say for example, you have Rockwell, a slab serif font that conveys strength and stability. Uh, you have your Cur Courier New, uh, give a typewriter feel, suggest a rugged and mechanical personality. Roboto, uh, often used in an industrial context, it gives a sturdy and utilitarian vibe. Uh, so all these fonts, generally speaking, when you're trying to brand your business, uh, say for example, you wanna create a logo or determine which topography to use on your website or other marketing material. Uh, if you don't know this information, you might wanna just choose a regular font. But if you actually look deeply within uh, fonts and topography, these fonts and topography actually has meaning. And you can use that meaning to evoke the experience and motion within your audience. Uh, use these slides to your advantage when determining on how you want to brand your uh, business in terms of topography and use of fonts. Your tone and writing style relating to your brand identity, personality dimensions. Uh, so this relates to what type of writing style you want to use, say for example on your website or say you want to create a video uh, or how you want to interact with your customers in general. Uh, your tone and writing style, uh, it also relates to your brand personality dimensions. So for Sincerity Brand, you want to use the tone and voice, warm and honest, reassuring. Uh, writing style, you use simple and direct language. Uh, frequently employs personality pro pronouns such as we are to create a sense of community. Include real life examples and testimonials to emphasize authenticity. Prefer sentences that are clear and straightforward. Uh, example sentence, we believe in creating product that you can trust made from heart and, and inspired by our closest knit community. Uh, then you have excitement. Uh, what tone of voice you wanna use? You, you wanna use energetic, enthusiastic, and lively. Uh, writing style includes incorporating uh, vibrant adjective and action verbs. Uh, makes use of exclamation marks and dynamic language for emphasis. Often incorporates questions to engage the audiences. Utilize short and snappy sentences to maintain ener uh, to maintain energy. So example sentences of this would be: Dive in a world of thrill! Exclamation mark! Are you ready to experience the pulse of innovation and the zest of life? So for competence, uh, what you want to do: Your voice of tone uh, should be authoritative, knowledge, and confident. Uh, writing styles, uh, you would prefer factual sp statement backed by data or examples. You want to use uh, industry specific terminology to showcase expertise. You want to construct well structured and logical paragraphs. Often employs a formal tone, avoiding slang or over casual language. Uh, example sentence would be with over 20 years in the industry, our data driven approach ensures you receive the pinnacle of service. Uh, sophistication, uh, what you want to use, your voice of tone should be elegant, polished, and refined. Writing style, you want to choose sophisticated vocabulary and avoid colloquialisms. You want to employ longer flowing sentences that exude grace. Often include metaphorical, poetic elements. Prefer a passive voice to create a sense of mystery or leer. An example sentence would be, in a world awash with the ordinary, our products stand as a testament to the artistry of elegance and the leer of luxury. Right, stuff like that. Make it very, very poetic. Uh, for ruggedness brand, uh, what you want to do: use the tone of voice to be bold, tough, and grounded. Uh, writing style: you want to incorporate uh, imagery related to nature, strength, or, or adventure. Uh, prefer short, impactful sentences. Uh, use direct language. Focus on product durability or resilience. 
often employ a call to action encouraging re readers to take action. An example sentence of this would be crafted for the untamed spirit, our gear is built to endure the widest ventures you can imagine. So as you can see in this video, determine your brand personality and dimensions, your brand identity, your brand voice, the color you want to use, the topography and font you want to use, and the tone and writing style you want to use in all your marketing material. It's not that hard of a process. We have it broken down in a step-by-step -step process. Uh, if you want to reach out to me or you want a free consultation for your business, uh, feel free to call me or reach out to me with the information given in this slide.